finishing up what I had said yesterday. Um, marriages too, when it comes to people getting bored, like I hear all the time, wives getting bored of their husbands because their husband isn't as lively as he used to be or whatever. Is it too dark? I'm gonna move. No, I haven't really heard that excuse on the guy side because usually when the guys get married, we don't, or that I've seen the guys, I haven't been married, but I haven't seen a guy get bored of his wife but I have seen wives get bored of the husband more times than not. And then they go cheat. And it's a bunch of ridiculousness. And this isn't a woman shaming oh, thing. I'm just, just speaking from the experience that I have seen personally. Like more times it's been the woman being bored of the guy than the guy being bored of the girl. But in dating wise nowadays it seems like people get bored of each other and then they uh like i said that whole feeling thing i feel bored therefore i am going to go outside of the relationship or i'm going to just drop you off and that's it like i think that's ridiculous so we'll go ahead and just jump into why i'm not i've chose not to date um one reason being I, I did allow myself to try um, when I moved here. I, I figured like, hey, I'm moved to Oklahoma. I'm going to find me one of these Okies. <laughs> if you ask my friend Jessica, she could tell you that this game plan probably didn't uh, probably probably didn't sound all to the best. But my, my BFF, Jessica, she's a, she's an Okie. And I'm like, man, okay. I mean, they're crazy, but they're cool. So I was like, I'm going to find me an Okie, and I'm going to bring her back to Texas with me. No, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Um, but, yeah, don't don't make a game plan like that. That's that's not how it works. Um, nothing against Okies. Just just don't do that. It's, it's not, that's not a foolproof plan. No, so I came here, waited. And then um, decided to, I didn't go out for the first like four months that I was here. Um, but I, I did end up going out with, uh, my roommate took me to my now job and um, I went there, I met a girl. Actually, I, uh, her mom met me. <laughs> if you're watching this. <laughs> Her mom was like, come meet my daughter. And the cool thing was, this girl's from Fort Worth. So, she wasn't an Okie. Which is pretty dope. But at the time, uh, she was talking to somebody. So, you know, I have to obviously respect that. Because um, I'm not one of those stupid dudes that are out there just like, oh, you have a woman. I could take you, like all the music says. No. Anyway, um... So I met her, she's pretty cool. So I'm like, all right, well, that's one for one. Like this seems pretty solid. Although the person I met in Oklahoma was from Fort Worth, so that doesn't really count. So I was like, no, I gotta meet an Okie. I gotta meet an Okie. So one day I'm at, I'm getting out of class, uh, Kyokushin uh, over at Conan uh, Kickboxing Academy. Make sure you go sign up today. Shameless plug. Anyway, so go to Walmart after class and there's this native girl. I thought she was Hispanic to be honest, but she's native. Um, this girl is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And, um, anyway, got her number. Start hanging out. Things start, you know, it was all cool. But just schedules and all that didn't add up. So, eh, oh well. You know, one for one. Then, moving forward, um, start talking to this other one. And... Bro, like, 